So let's start um, with the Costa Brown. And let me first say that the Costa Brown is 14.1% uh, alcohol. Uh, and let's take a look at the color. What do you think, Harris? It's, it's beautiful. It's jewel-like, bright, um, kind of a purpley red. I'm a little surprised to see from Sonoma Coast. But. Yeah. And, you know, uh, Costa Brown has had a previous reputation of making deep, dark wines. This is a classic Pinot Noir color. I love the color. It's it's bright. It's, it's as you say, jewel-like, uh, translucent, um, very ruby uh, in its uh, character. Let's uh, give it a nose. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's opened up quite nicely. Yes, yeah, it has. It has. Still, I get that candy uh, cherry notes. You know, your your um, cherry was what was what you would expect from from uh, a Pinot Noir, and it goes towards that candy cherry. Uh, it's it's bright. Yeah, big cherry note. Um, kind of a fresh leather scent too, like mm -hmm. new leather. Brand new leather um, to give it that earthy earthy balance. Mm -hmm. um, Something that surprises me is that there's, I, I sense no spice in the wine. And oftentimes, you know, um, you know, we're, we're sort of pushing the envelope toward the, the Burgundian or that sort of old world style. And, and we're, we're, we enjoy just as a personal preference, some spice in the wine and uh, don't get any of that now, in the nose here. There's kind of a woodsy scent, mm -hmm. um, maybe even hinting towards cedar. Between mm -hmm. that and the leather, it kind of reminds me of new shoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's give it a taste. Very light. Very light. The cherry comes through. Um, it's kind of an interesting um, tingle, almost uh, maybe a spice sensation. Yeah, it might be a spice sensation. It, a tingle would be right, like like maybe white pepper in the oh, middle yeah. of the palate. Um, but it's, uh, I'm, without meaning to be um, derogatory, it's a little thin. It's, it's quite light. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I don't get a lot of uh, mid or mid palate or finish, although it, it's still in my mouth. It's just, it's, it's, you know, kind of a refreshing light wine. Yeah. The tingly texture, I think is the thing that sticks with me. There's mm -hmm. still a little bit of that woody, woodiness. Um, mm -hmm. There's still some of the fruit, but yeah, it's, it's lighter than I would have expected from the nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think it kind of falls away at the end, but yeah. um, it lingers, but it doesn't, it's, it's, it's not a big, beginning, middle, and end. It's, uh, you get that fruit up front, it's kind of light on, in character on the mouth, and um, and then it kind of sort of tapers off. So the retail on this is 130. Um, mm -hmm. What would you expect to pay in a restaurant? Oh, 280. Wow. You okay. know, something like that, 250 to 280. And speaking of restaurants, what do you think this would pair with? Um, you know, it's a light wine. I think, you know, uh, um, you know, I'm thinking salmon or halibut. How about yeah. what, what are you thinking? Well, you need something light. Um, I think for me, the salmon makes sense. I would pick like Cornish hens, mm -hmm. really, yeah. really gentle, sweet meat. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, this is a 2016, you know, more sort of tipping towards, towards France. It's a lower alcohol. It's 13.4%. Um, and the color right away, uh, deeper. Yeah. Um, it's still translucent, um, still, uh, you know, jewel like, but again, it's, you know, five years old, six years old now. So it's, uh, it's moving towards tawny. It doesn't have the brown around the edges. It's still really pretty around the edges, but it, it it's deeper, it has a much deeper color. Ooh, wow. That's a much bigger nose. Yeah. The, the nose, uh, much more complex, much, much more, I would say, mysterious. Mm -hmm. The thing that always jumps out uh, from this wine for me is mm -hmm. there's kind of this um, herbaceous woodsy scent that I always think of um, and like an alpine liqueur. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, um, and of course you do have the fruit that there's plum in there. Mm -hmm. um, so there's sort of Italian plum and so you get the fruit and there's, there's definitely spice. And that sort of menthol -y kind of herbaceous, uh, you know, um, earthy tone. Yeah. It's, it's, it's quite a balance and leads towards earth. This, this wine, where that wine totally led towards fruit, this wine leads towards earth in its, in its nose. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Woodsiness, a little sage, bay leaf. 
Mm -hmm. um, all those kind of deeper tones for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Again, a little closer to a burgundy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's give it a taste. Mm. Wow, the much richer body. That's the first thing I noticed. It fills your mouth. Yeah, it's it's rich, and um, there's uh, there's fruit. So right away, um, I get some plums, and um, uh, but there's also kind of a more uh, bright, um, like cranberry. Yeah, I, I get a, like a plump cranberry or even a pomegranate. Mm -hmm. A little little tartar, but juicy. Mm -hmm. And then the herbs come through. Mm. Um, you know, it's like you said, bay leaves. Um, I always get sage on the palate for this mm -hmm. wine. Yeah. Definitely complex, uh, like layers of flavor, and it keeps going. It really doesn't stop. Because of that sage, um, I always think of, of stuffing with this wine. That's mm -hmm. my, my pairing. Thanksgiving. It, it smells like Thanksgiving to me. Mm -hmm. mm. And there is a beginning, a middle, and an end, and it, it carries right through. I mean, I still feel the front of the mouth. I still feel the middle of my mouth, and I, and I still, the, the, the flavor still lingers for, for a long way. This is... Um, this is a this is a, a rich wine. It's uh, uh, very full and yet um, delicate at the same time. It's not bold in the, in sort of the the you know Cabernet kind of bold, um, but for a Pinot Noir, it gives it, it gives a lot of complexity and um, and mystery. Yeah, and this this is the kind of um, effect you want from a wine at this price point, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so this would go with a with a richer meal too. I would say. You know, well, Thanksgiving for sure, and uh, a lamb. I mean, rack of oh, lamb yeah. would be perfect with this. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. So anyway, head to head, Cluster Brown Halleck Vineyard, um, as Harris suggests, uh, like and subscribe, and we will see you at our next tasting.